Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the Stony River channel. Today I would like to talk about uh, a favorite of mine, uh, more knives. And um, the first more knife I was ever exposed to was actually this one. I bought this one in 2013, uh, the Mora Companion. And it's a really simple knife, um, really lightweight plastic molded sheath. And uh, it comes with about a 4.1 inch blade. Um, and the uh, blade material is uh, carbon steel, so carbon steel unlike stainless steel stains, as you can kind of see a little bit on this one, but this one looks pretty good. I'll show you some other ones that are a little bit dirtier. And uh, yeah, they have a, the, this, the grind on the blade is what's called a Scandinavian grind or a Scandi grind, just means it has a single bevel. and. Um, is I guess you know I guess the advantage of having the Scandinavian grind is it's uh, and the carbon steel is that they are easy to sharpen and hold a, a pretty good edge. Uh, this blade has what's called a rat tail tang. So the tang really kind of just refers to the degree to which the uh, the steel of the blade descends in, into the handle here. So rat tail tang kind of uh, tapers and doesn't quite make it all the way down but it's still an incredibly strong blade and, and a wonderful knife uh, really great grip on the handle and uh, the back of the blade is is flat but it's not finished like ground or polished so it's not like something you could use on a like a ferrocerium rod to, to throw sparks and start a fire but you I, I think I've seen people modify that if you're skilled with that kind of stuff to to make it capable capable for that, but that's not really that big of a deal to me. These are cheap. Uh, they, I mean, depending on where you buy them from, we're talking like low end, ten dollars, high end, fifteen, maybe to twenty dollars. Uh, so yeah, this one's from twenty thirteen on the bottom. This one's from a few weeks ago. They're like a little bit different handle. I don't know. It's a little weird. The blade's identical. It's in a little bit better shape, but the handle's a little bit shorter and thinner. But I love these. It's that go-to camping backpacking knife, no doubt. So this knife has a very similar, almost uh, probably the same exact identical blade as those companions I just showed you earlier, but this has more of the traditional Mora uh, handle, like a laminated birch. Uh, really beautiful look. Uh, feels good in the hand. Definitely not as grippy as that rubberized one, but it still feels good. A little bit different sheath. Uh, these come in a number of different sizes. This one's the classic number two, uh, coming in at about 4.2 inches. So maybe it is a slightly larger blade than the other ones, but very similar and uh, same rat tail tang. And they're just, yeah, beautiful, kind of elegant, cool knives. You can see the high carbon steel here staining over time. I mean, you have to, to prevent them from staining, basically, you keep them oiled. Um, I use mineral oil, but I bet you could use a variety of different other uh, oils to, to, keep, to prevent them from corroding or rusting. It's, you know, usually if, it, if the blade is dry and it gets wet, it, the corrosion seems to appear quickly. So you just kind of have to be on your game. But... Once again, there's some advantages to the carbon steel, just the ease of which you can sharpen it and I mean, the strength of the blade. Scandinavian grind should be pretty easy to sharpen for people. I, I struggle to sharpen knives, and it's not, never been something I'm particularly good at, uh, but I'm hoping to get hope to improve that skill over time. But I really like this one. I always take this one camping with me. Uh, it's really pretty, and you can get a, a bigger... B several bigger ones than this, I do believe. So if you want a big old honk and fix blade knife, um, you can go for one of these classics, and they just they're just numbered. Uh, and they have this kind of trademark Mora birch handle, uh, and just the advantages of a fixed blade knife. And I'm not a I'm not a big uh, bush crafter myself, but you know a fixed blade knife is is really strong and. It's probably something you'd want to have on you, especially if you're you're camping or if you're into kind of survival or any kind of emergency preparedness. I mean, I think that goes without saying that fixed blade knives, um, 
have their their place and in, in your collection of, of gear folding knives are cool too i'm not against them but uh, fixed blade knives definitely have have their time and place mora also makes a number of knife varieties used for various crafting and construction purposes uh one they're pretty well known for wood carving knives and I have just a few of them, uh, and I've used them in, in my experience with them to just do hand carving of uh, spoon, wooden spoons or bowls. Here's a huge one, but um, you know you could use the hook knife to kind of scoop out the bowl, and these straighter knives kind of, you know, the shape and the size of them allow you to kind of use control with your thumb as you're carving. So I'm not super into carving, but I've had some fun with it. It's a great way to pass the time. You know, I made spoons for all my family as gifts one year. And um, anyway, I have this hook knife. This is the 164 hook knife. They're num the different models and shapes and sizes just have numbers that correspond with them. This one's got a two inch blade, same carbon steel. Uh, this one's the 120 knife, a straight one. This is coming in at 2.4 inches, but they come in different sizes. Has that birch handle. And then I have one plastic Mora carving knife. This is the basic coming in at 3.1. And it's very basic, but it gets the job done. So I've had a lot of fun carving with these. And they make a whole lot more in different sizes and configurations. So these, once again, are the, the different, a few examples of the many different types of carving knives that Mora offers. Okay, and the last type of Mora knife that I have is kind of one of their newer concepts, but not super new. Um, it's called the Eldris, E-L-D-R-I-S, e and it's a neck knife. Now, I'm sure a lot of knife people know exactly what I'm talking about, but for those who are not you know, super into knives or obsessed with knives, the neck knife basically is just a knife that you can wear in a sheath, I guess, or not a sheath, that fits around your neck. So this one locks in into the sheath pretty well. I mean, I'm gently pulling there, but you can if you give it some force, it'll come out. And uh, you can suspend it kind of inverted, and you can see it's not coming out if you shake it around your, around your neck. And uh, this doesn't come with, at least this kind of basic model doesn't come with any kind of cordage, but it has holes in it, and it's just a simple piece of paracord. I have two of the more Eldrises. I really banged up the blade on the first one, but I think that's more on me than the knife. I like them. I mean, it's just a small, it's something, you know, that you could carry all the time. Just a 2.2 inch blade fits really, really good in the hand, really grippy. Um, and this one does have uh, a ground and uh, kind of polished 90 degree angle back blade that you can use to throw sparks on a fair cerium rod. So it's a little bit more fancy than some of the other, I guess it's not even fancier, it's just different. Um, and I like the, the Eldris. So yeah, in summary, this is my relatively small Mora knife collection. Could always grow, probably doesn't need to, but on the right I have the two uh, Mora knife companions in the green sheath. The uh, classic number two in the red birch bark handle there. To the left are those two green sheath knives. Those are kind of the standard camping knives. Um, all of those are kind of in the, well, the companions are a little cheaper, probably like $15 range. More The um, classic number two might be a little bit more money. And then in the middle, I have all my wood carving knives. Um, and those are yeah probably also in that same price range. It just kind of depends uh, where you're buying them from, you know, $15, $20. And on the end, uh, the left end is the two Eldris neck knives. And those are a little, those are a little bit more expensive. Those are like 27, 20, uh, those are about 30 to 25 to 30 dollar range. I think 27 is what I saw them for recently. So um, that's my more knife collection. 